Welcome to lesson seven, the don't repeat yourself principle. I know that's a really long name, but this is actually a really important concept. As you've seen, website code can get really lengthy. Between HTML and CSS, you can be dealing with hundreds of lines of code. I know we haven't gotten there yet, but larger projects do get there, okay? And the don't repeat yourself principle is basically the idea that we shouldn't be repeating code that is the same over and over because when we do that our code becomes harder to read and harder to edit so part of making clean readable code is the don't repeat yourself principle also known as the dry principle okay we're going to see that in action here in this exercise managing change so here's the home page for a baseball fans website about baseball okay but she's struggling to get the styling right in this project okay this is what it looks like right now and she'd like to she's like she she wants to make a few edits okay first of all we can see up here in the navigation bar that the background color for the buttons uh, kind of blends into each other. We can't really tell that these are separate buttons, so we want to fix that issue. So that's task one. Can we find and remove the repeated rule that's causing the backgrounds to blend into each other? So there's an entire rule that we're not going to need. Our job is to, to find that and to remove that. Okay, for the second task, we're going to do a little enhancing with the style. So once we have the blending issue resolved, we want to kind of improve the color contrast. So we or she's asking us to basically change the color scheme this is what she'd like so a brown background with white text and we're gonna do this applying the dry principle so our second task is to condense the rules so that the buttons font color and background color are only specified in exactly one rule okay let's go ahead and get started all right so first things first let's run this to see what we have you might want to open this up in a new tab since we're dealing with the whole web page here okay we can see that we have the the situation here in the background everything is kind of blending in so we want to fix that in the css okay so we can see here that for the nav bar we have an unordered list that basically is holding the navigation bar and we also have a link at the bottom that is holding the text come explore the world of baseball it's really important to explore your HTML because the CSS is styling this so we want to know what we're grabbing and what's going on in the web page before we make any changes to the style rules okay so over in the style sheet let's take a look at the rules we have so I can see right off the bat I have two rules for the unordered list tag okay so here's an example of violating the don't repeat yourself principle okay there's no need to have two separate rules with the same selector because we can throw all of these properties in one rule okay this rule is basically saying to grab my honor unordered list and give it this background color okay so it's that blue teal kind of color that you see there all right now I know inside my unordered list I I also have the list items and I can see here that the list items also have that same background color so immediately I can tell that this unordered list rule is unnecessary so let's go ahead and delete that if we run our code or save it and actually just refresh our web page we should see that we no longer have that blending in issue so we've resolved that okay we've removed one unnecessary rule so that takes care of task one now task two is we want to change our button color to beige with a text color of white and we want that same thing to happen down here and we want it all in one rule okay so since i know that this bottom text is sitting in a element with a class of featured what i can do is i can combine these rules so up here, I can add the anchor tag with the class featured. So a dot featured, meaning the anchor tag that has the class featured. And basically change the color here to white. And the background color to this color down here. So let's grab that. Okay, so again, the don't repeat myself or don't repeat yourself principle is just 
not putting the same thing in multiple rules, not having multiple rules that are saying the same thing. Okay, this just gives you more code, which is more to read and makes the editing job a lot harder. Okay, so that should grab all of my anchor tags and make them white, as well as any anchor tags of the class feature to make them white with this background color. So let's go ahead and run our code and let's open it up in a new window and see if we have the result we're looking for. Okay, that looks great. All right, way better contrast. We removed all of the unnecessary repeating code. So I hope that you understand the don't repeat yourself principle. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Nice job, everyone.